own to my own setting. You know? yep. like, yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, NASDAQ uh, breaking with the rest of the market here, and again, this one had led the most because of Apple. Apple started to break yesterday. We said uh, most likely going to head to pull back. Uh, first level here for me is uh, 56.42, and you can see that's the Friday point of control, and then below that, uh, 56.22, very possible today after this kind of blow-off move that we had in Apple early in the week. It was all Apple. Uh, the S&P is rolling over right now. The S&P is, I know it was 86. Yeah, it's 84. Uh, down 11, and that I think still will go and test the 76 level. The 76 level uh, really had a brief uh, 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 shake with that last week, and and that needs to be tested one more time at least. And if 76 doesn't hold, then we're going to go and fill some gaps well below that. So. That's kind of where we are today. If you're not short, wait for rallies. Uh, if you are short, great, write it down. And again, look for 56.42, 56.22 uh, below that. And uh, finally, we're having a day that, uh, you know, the S&P alone is 12 points. That's wider than we've been probably in three weeks, any one day. So 12 points uh, already on the S&P is wider than any range that we've seen in the last three weeks of trading.